go too far, Zach. Stay where mommy and daddy can see you. to be female I just hope you realize eight bucks an hour just doesn't cover the emotional embarrassment I go through for this oh, geez. what the hell are you doing man there ain't no cookies under there sorry I I was just <clears throat> if you were looking for a ride you would have just not done the glass was that cat. I was just trying to, um... Say, aren't you that animal control guy? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it before. Chasing out that cat like a little of your best suit. <laughs> Who hasn't? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If it's a good movie, you'll get him in the end. Now, I got a feeling I'll be seeing you again. And remember, with his will, is a cliche. Old man, 1375. 1356. Right, that's what I said. What'd you say again? 1356 Benson Street. I have a very important engagement. What was that, little man? I couldn't quite hear you over the burning rubber. Time stops for no man. I have a press conference that I must attend to immediately. You don't understand. I'm on the verge of. Groundbreaking technologies that will revolution <laughs> that dark cat. The computer industry in both digital storage and robotics. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't catch a word. And you didn't leave your sign for a second. Look, we told you, we went into the exhibit. All of you? Yes, all of us. Didn't you see the sign? It says, Don't touch. I 
can explain. Um. Oh, I gotta hear this. Uh, okay, well, it started with this cat. A cat? Yes, a cat. So a cat did this? No, it started with a cat. Um. So it started with a cat? Yes, um, just said that. Yeah, I know you said that. What about the cat? Oh, uh, I was actually trying to, uh, to catch this cat, and, uh, then, uh, Then you saw the police tape and just couldn't resist, right? I know your type. You probably also dropped that can over there, right? No, no, that, that wasn't me. I, uh, I actually, I just followed the cat, and, um... Saw that I was alone and thought you'd score some easy points for your ego? Not at all, no. There, there's just this cat, and, um... Is that a euphemism? Are you trying to be clever? I think they're dinosaurs in that room. It's a living dinosaur exhibit, honey. What did you expect? No, 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 no. Real dinosaur. Moving dinosaurs. Dinosaurs that roar. They're animatronic. Models. It moved. I unplugged it. And it moved. You're crazy. Come with me. I'll show you. You're crazy. And you have a net. Both pretty high on the list of things my mother warned me about. There's no way I'm going in there with you. I catch stray cats, okay? That's what I do. You can't hold that against me. It's not happening. Come on! Hey, you're not really leaving me with much choice! Dad, there's a dinosaur in our backyard. Dennis, when I say take your medication, I mean it. But, Dad... There's absolutely no way I'm having you run riot all night again. Mr. Wilson does not deserve such a menace. Oh, this is some stunt. I'm impressed. What? The disappearing act? You're a true hunter. Really go all out there for the ladies, don't you? I like that. No, y you don't understand. I'm not pulling some trick. I'm genu genuinely concerned for my life. Because you think dinosaurs are going to eat you? Right. Cool. Talk with the loser, as per usual. Look! I'm not some fraud. I am an animal control officer who followed a stray cat into the exhibition where I unplugged the dinosaurs and now they're gone. I am not here to trick you. You're really not joking? Oh boy. <laughs> I think I've just stormed to the top of the Guinness World Records for introducing myself in the worst way that is humanly possible. It's okay. I guess I guess you have to be thick-skinned. I, I, I'd be the same, you know, well, you know, if if I was a, a woman and, um... Attractive? And, yes, yeah, attractive. That's a, exactly the word I was going for. God. I hate it when you just get all stuck up words get in your throat and you, get, you dig yourself into a hole and no matter how hard you try you just go on and on and on and on. Justin. Hey, you remembered my name. Actually, you never told me it. It's printed on your shirt. Yeah, so it is. So where are the dinosaurs? You know, that's a, a good question. Oh, I like girls with inquisitive minds. I do. People say it's all about the looks, but really, brains are pretty damn important. I mean, without brains, the girl wouldn't even know how to take your pants off, let alone just... Justin! I mean? <clears throat> we need to find them. Right. Of course. Well, um, they were here a minute ago. And now they're not. They must have escaped somehow. <sighs> They're dinosaurs, not rabbits. It's not like they can sneak out the back exit without anyone noticing. They're animatronic. They shouldn't be sneaking anywhere. Well, what do we do? Shh! Listen. There, look! What is that thing? Well, since we're standing inside a living dinosaur exhibit, I'm gonna hedge my bets and say it's some kind of dinosaur. You clued up on these things? Clued up? On dinosaurs? Are you crazy? Wait! Don't answer that. I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, hold on. Let me guess. You're actually part machine and have a computer chip that if Skynet doesn't screw the world over, can conjure up information by simply looking at it? No. I 
just have a net. Right. Of course. Tricky little buggers, these things. And you're telling me this is a man's world? Crikey. Isn't she a beauty? What's that? I don't want to stick around to find out. Come on! Please don't make noise, please don't make noise, please don't make noise, please don't make noise. See, I told you, they're gone. Dr. Hicks is going to have our heads. Our heads? My head? He's hungry. Hey, Mikey, look at this. Somebody switched the power off. Well, I guess you two have your work cut out for you. Come on, they're just toys. It's not like they could really hurt you. Curses out, stupid thing. I didn't think it was possible for a critter this small to have the bite of a 50-foot killer shark. Oh, and I suppose you know exactly what that feels like. You have no idea what I've just been through. That is true. I have no concept of pain. After all, being a woman, I know nothing but how to move from the washing machine to the oven. And childbirth? Ah, <sighs> piece of cake. That's odd. What? Nothing, nothing. I just, I just never known anyone to keep their washing machine in the kitchen. Bingo. Okay, so we know that it's, um, uh, a coelophysis. Solophysis? Right, yeah, that, that's what I said. Now, and now, just to find out where the little brute comes from. What are you looking at me for? I just worked there. Check his tag. Animatronic Soelophysis. You think you're going to find where it comes from just like that? It's an animatronic dinosaur. How many companies do you reckon make animatronic dinosaurs? Quite a few, I'd imagine. You're wrong. Ah, now, RoboDino seems to be the big company. To disable circuitry, disconnect the red wire from the product's main power line. I guess it means we're looking for some sort of hatch. Saying that I got the bad end of the stick is an understatement. Quit your whining. I'm trying to concentrate. Well, can you hurry up? My fingers are quivering in fear. You're probably just cold. No, really. I'm pretty sure they're quivering. Nope. What do you mean, nope? I mean, nope, there's no hatch. Nope, there's no point of entry. Nope. You were wrong. That's impossible. There has to be some way to get in. What happens if the circuitry fails? Justin, I think you better take a look at this. What is all of this? Synthicorp? Synthicorp, 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 what the? They weren't power supplying cables that you unplugged. They were leashes. Whoa! Yeah. stole my meat what I didn't steal anything what's that it's a sandwich is that the meat you stole from my conveyor no why uh, whatever I'm telling you it's my meat I didn't take your meat oh yeah you okay whatever buddy uh, yeah it sure looks like my meat yeah you wish it was your meat I knew you couldn't resist the sweet smell of fast food. Oh, unfortunately, it's full of grease and fat, and I just couldn't put you through something like that. Don't be heartless. <sighs> Don't come whining to me when you get indigestion. It likes me. Zola, 
It's a dinosaur. Do you have any more? Meat? No, that was my last takeout. Well, don't you think it might be a good idea to get some? Why? That should keep him going. Nobody wants to see a chubby dinosaur. It's just it's not nice for anyone. I'm just saying, if you're going to leave him in here overnight, you might want to find him something to eat that isn't you. Will the store be open at this time? Entertainment. The word that audiences love and industries fear. The word that is never stationary, never still, but always pushing, striving for change. That's the unfortunate consequence of a world in which technology is ever changing. People get bored, that's a fact. They are never satisfied, always wanting. That's why we here at SynthCorp have revolutionized the entertainment world as the world knows it. Boredom will become a thing of the past. I just don't believe you. <laughs> That's fine, but just know that it's you who's missing out. What? Why are you doing that? Justin! Oh boy. What on earth do you think you're doing? How did you get in here? You must be crazy. This animal here is property of Synthicorp, and we are here to take possession of it. I can't believe this! That's the second time somebody's accused me of being crazy today. Look, whoever you are, my friend here is a little... well... you know. And you see, this is his apartment. Is there any particular reason you smashed the door in, or have you bored of COD already? Do I really come all across as crazy? I don't, I don't, I don't look crazy, do I? You two better back off, or we'll... Or, um, we'll, uh... Uh, what will we do? We'll beat you up. But you told me I'm not supposed to hurt anyone, especially women. You're not really gonna do it. You're just gonna say it, so they leave us alone. Oh, okay. Step back, or you'll make you wish you never met us. I already wish I never met you. Is it my nose? This animal is property of Synthicorp, and unless you have a proof of sale, we have every right to repossess our property. Really? I don't see a label or a tag on it. How do you know it's actually a Synthocorp dinosaur and not a Robo-Dino dinosaur? Hmm. Hey, Mikey, how do we know this one is ours? Or my hair. I, I could get a haircut. Maybe one like Norman Bates. This animal is a stray we found on the street. You two are breaking and entering, and I have every right to call the police. Go ahead. Call them. Don't try to stop us from leaving. Derek, make a hole. I ain't got no shovel. In them. Make a hole so we can leave. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that kind of hurt. Well, now that I took out the big guy. Now, if you don't mind, leave him. Actually, I do mind. And I certainly mind. There's no place like home, but you're making a hell of a lot of noise. Look. I can only tell the other residents that it's the schizophrenic next door for so long. Well? He started it. They're trying to steal my pet. Boys will be boys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I understand. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. I'd love to say that anything goes, but it's a breach of your contract. Either ditch the lizard or ditch the apartment. That's how it's got to be. It's as plain as the nose on your face. <laughs> what are you looking at her for? Her name's not on the contract. Ball's in your court. <laughs> Looks like he's all yours, lads. Yes! Beggars can't be choosers. Hand him over. Atta boy. I'll miss you. Atta boy, give it over. I'm gonna miss that little guy. I know. But you should have told me you have a tenancy contract to abide by. Well, it didn't exactly crop up in conversation. Holy crap, it's hot. 
you see that? It's cute. But I'm, I'm not taking that one home. Why is it drinking? Gee, well, I don't know, Zola. Maybe because it's thirsty. Well, if it was animatronic, surely the water would mess with the circuitry. Let's just face it. I did a stupid thing. I freed a truckload of real, breathing dinosaurs into the city. Quick, behind this bush. Now who's being bossy? Shh. But why do we need another one? Surely one is plenty. More than plenty, in fact. We need all of them, Derek. Dr. Hicks says there's something wrong with them. What's wrong? She looks fine to me. I don't know what's wrong. Can you just do what I say, just for once? Hey, girl. How are you? How do you know it's a she? Hey, Michael! Look at this! Look, look! Michael, I found something, Michael! I think I found it too! Is that good? Did I do a good job, Michael? Give it here! It's ceramic. Must be from a toy or something. Oh... Are you sure this is a good idea? It's not a good idea. It's a brilliant idea! All we need is one tooth! So by giving him this juicy, but sticky hunk of meat, we can't go wrong. But I thought you said we had to catch the- If you want to catch a thing, go right ahead. That's what I thought. Now come on, help me get her to eat this thing. Come on, little dinosaur. This steak really wants you to eat it. <laughs> now what? What do you think they're doing? I honestly have no idea. Gathering proof, I guess. Surely a camera would have been more worthwhile. They obviously prefer the hands-on approach. Will Dr. Hicks be proud of us? Proud of us? For failing him? No, Derek. I don't think he will. That was close. Yes, a little too close for my liking. This would make a hell of a lot more sense if it wasn't ceramic. There's probably kids living here. It must have fallen off one of their toys or something. It's not unusual for kids to have toy dinosaurs, you know. I know. Uh... Zola? They really do like you, don't they? I sure wish they didn't. Mom! Welcome back. I was thinking you need to write about now. How did you know? Simple. I read the screenplay. Did you see it? See what? The mouth. Did you see the dinosaur's mouth? Oh, the mouth that was inches away from ripping my head from my shoulders? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw it. So you were wrong. Who was wrong? Wrong about what? The tooth. It was missing a tooth. That ceramic toy belonged to our dino. Impossible. It's reflective. Of course, it's glazed. So wait, those two said these dinosaurs were property of synthetic. So they're fake dinosaurs. Yeah. Care to tell him that? Hold on. Oh, that was close. Where to? Anywhere but here. What, so he just dumped her by text? Uh-huh, what a tool, right? I mean, I told her this right from the very beginning, but would she listen to me? Of course not. She knows best. You know how she is. So, is she upset? She's gone through like a dozen packs of Kleenex already. Oh, poor girl. But it's totally her own fault. Vicky, I want this one. That's exactly what Mark said when I asked him. You totally dig him. I so do not. Besides, he likes Claire anyways. He said so himself. Vicky! Something just ate the rabbit! Do you always have to be so annoying? Hello? Or to my stupid brother? <laughs> cool! Hello? I thought I told you to get rid of this thing, not get more. What? Well, I can't understand you. Just get down here. I'm <laughs> 
hungry little buggers, aren't they? Get her explain which part of you go or it goes. You don't understand? Hey, what's the matter with that one? Looks a little tipsy if you ask me. More like a little bloated. He's got quite a belly on him. It's as big as a house. so gross. That was horrible. The visual effects guy needs to be fired. What in God's name did you have in your fridge? Nothing explosive, I can assure you. I hate to burst your bubble, but it looks as though to this little critter, your food was very explosive. It wires. Well, that's a real bump in the road. They're synthetic. Circuitry. Just like I said. I still don't get why we're doing this. Do you want to be eaten by the big scary dinosaurs? Do you want to slap? Not wanting to be the bearer of bad news here, but I'm not certain how much weight these walls can hold. They were designed to keep out wind and rain, not dinosaurs. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Yeah, I'm with the lady. If this movie idea is to conventions, then the black guy's next to die. Don't be stupid. No one's going to die. We're locked inside a 30-foot building, for goodness sake. I'm sure they have better things to do than plot an evil plan to stampede the apartment. Well, why not? They're meat eaters and, well, we're meat. Clock is ticking. Okay, okay, all right, hold up. Are, are you guys seriously that worried about this? Everyone just needs to calm down, take a deep breath, and relax. The Air Force will have them blown to smithereens in a matter of hours. Look. The tri-state area is experiencing one of the worst heat waves in three centuries. Keep hydrated and stay in the shade. Direct sunlight is thought to reach highs of 112 degrees. I don't want to hear this crap as if we need another reason to panic. So what's the deal with these things? Are they real or not? Well, they're made up of circuitry and wires. They've got to be synthetic. They just look and act real. It's kind of spooky. So, so they are the work of Synthicorp. Synth what? The, the name of the firm that builds these things. Sounds stupid. What's the point in building fear cast dinosaurs that look real? It's gotta be a fluke in the programming. The museum wouldn't have purchased animatronic dinosaurs that eat its patrons. That's just not good for science. And exploding? Well, I guess that being made up of wires and such, there's not much room for a digestive system. Bingo! So we've got to feed them to death? Come here. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> Well, what if one happens to be allergic to gelatin? Oh, I do hope you have a good time. Excuse me? Food. You must be having a party, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Don't suppose you got an extra invitation lying around? It's just my goldfish died this morning, and I can't bear to be in my house by myself. You know what it's like to be in a house with empty dishes, Kleenex everywhere? A general mess, much like my now dissolute life. Oh, uh, it's more of a family do, actually. Oh, alright. Then I wouldn't want to intrude. Yo, man, what's all this about the party? I want it. You're nothing. No, just just uh, a few friends. I thought you said it was a family only. I'm hurt that you don't class me as a friend. How much for this? 5480. Thanks. Yeah. I'm gonna need some identification. Identification? Dude, they didn't even give me a name in this stupid movie. How do you expect me to have ID? Then I can't sell it to you. Sorry. Sorry? I'll tell you you'll be sorry. There's a poor situation going on outside that you have no idea about. But let me tell you this. If you don't send me these fireworks, then there is a big possibility, very large possibility, that I will be eating that death in the coming hours. And you will be wrapped in uncontrollable guilt, haunted by my ghost every night. You'll never sleep. It will drive you insane. So much so, that you remember this deer and take a firework and stick it up your- What's that? I think Justin's calling you. Sorry about him. So, nice weather we're having. Are you British? Oh. What's that? 
Must be the power coming back on. Power doesn't sound like that. Fancy meeting them here. All right. Lock and load. Let's do this. This is insane! Isn't it? You've got to observe a one just in. Where did you find her? Your niece's birthday party? Oh, that's clever. Real clever. Ugh. Bravo. Do you have anything useful to say? Or can you turn the radio back on? Oh, please, how old are you? Fifteen? Where does he think he's going? Yeah, you want to know what? We did it. That's right. Oh, you disgust me! Oh, do me a favor and shut up, you needy little- ah! Oh my god! I don't remember requesting the unreated version. So what's the plan? Plan? I'm just making this up as I go. I don't think they're going to eat us. They're herbivores. They're fans of the vegetation aisle. It's not being eaten that I'm worried about. Point taken. We've got to get them to eat this food. Think, think, think. What do we do? They're synthetic. Animatronic. Their circuitry will discharge if they're exposed to water. That's all very well. You have to try finding a truckload of water on a bridge like this. All right. No need for the menace. We've got to evacuate this bridge. You've got to get out of here. The bridge, it's going to collapse. Run for your lives. Blame the stereotype. Now come and help me get these damn things rigged up. Where do I stick it? Man, don't go stick it anywhere. You want to slide it in nicely. We don't get seconds. I'm not intending to do this twice. Where do I plug the damn thing? Four, four. There's only three! Second. Are you just guessing? Stab in the dark, baby. That's how I roll. That was lucky. Yeah, there could have been a whole lot of responsibility there. This one goes out to all the ladies. What I meant to say was... Run for your lives! But any ladies that need any special medical attention, I'll be round the back. Oh! 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 My granny ran faster than that, and she's on her fourth big replacement. I should be the motivation to speak. Okay, I'm not going to be the guy to ruin the dream. It's really that simple. Just move your legs faster. Left, right, left, right, left. Run! <laughs> I know all the sense. And I tell you, I don't want to be part of it. I hear you. Zola! Zola! Oh. Justin! again, but with meaning. I know, right? It's almost as though it was scripted. Uh, guys? But it's a bridge. Bridges go over water. Not this bridge. Did none of you think to look before we enforce this master plan? Wait, look! Yes, Zola. I'm well aware that we failed. No need to be smarmy. No, there. Well, I'll be damned. 
Doesn't he know that smoking is bad for his health? They're cooking from the sun's heat. They must be melting their circuitry. So you're telling me we could have saved ourselves a whole bunch of trouble and just sat back and watched? It's all in good health. What's next? Sharp tooth. Let's go kick some dinosaur butt. As you can see, it's absolute chaos in downtown. For some reason, unbeknownst to the people or the media, dinosaurs have managed to rise from the land of extinction and are now wreaking havoc on our city. Seeing as there's no procedure dictating what should be done following a dinosaur attack, it's every man for himself out there. The best advice we can offer is to stay inside and keep away from any food that could encourage the dinosaurs to attack. They honestly think we should believe this crap? We need a new game plan. Something that's gonna blow them into extinction once and for all. I don't know. I could get used to living in a world where man and dinosaur walk in parallel. You say that now? Yeah, you just wait until they get fed up of the parallel and decide to walk on you instead. I can't say that would be much fun. Imagine seeing you were killed by a dinosaur though. Honey, you'd be dead. You wouldn't be saying anything. Right. Plan? Anyone? I could always run back to the store and sweet talk that clerk to let me into having those fireworks. Why don't we just stick to what we know? It's probably safer. We're in the sense of adventure, woman. Gee, I must have left it with my Y chromosome. You're funny for a girl. Guys! Can we concentrate? World on brink of destruction here. Do I need to make it any clearer? Justin's right. Then we need to feed them to death. What? They can't cut their food, right? And let's blow them to high heaven. It's gone to well. Tell us some pretty sweet offers on the reduced all by now. We need meat, and a lot of it. But first, we're gonna need a vehicle. Take your pick. Come on, grab what you can. Let's end these bitches. You know, with all this meat around, I'm surprised they haven't devoured the place already. I should have seen that come in. It's not real, right? That's right. Just circuitry and wires. And how come it hasn't exploded already? Good question. You mean, you mean it's real? It's not looking good. We better get the ball rolling. Justin, what do you suggest? Would running be too cowardly a suggestion? Not at all. Nope. Uh-uh. Hit it! Go faster! Faster! Put your damn foot down! Gas! What gas! Oh boy! Oh, it's getting closer! Hold on tight! It never fears! We did it! Huh? Who did it? You did it! You did it, man! That's what I thought! Yes! Let's do this! <sighs> Why? Where did I go wrong? Do do Dr. Hicks! Uh, Michael, you've been gone for hours. What's the news? Is it bad? There there's something wrong with them. They're much more aggressive than their programming should 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 test. This is not at all what I envisioned. They were designed for entertainment. I never wanted them roaming the city, terrorizing the locals. They're supposed to be showcased in fairs and museums. Sir, we, we need your help. Th there must be a way we can shut them down from the programming end. There is no way. They are performing exactly as they were programmed. You Hi. wanted them lifelike and now you have it. Ariana? What did you do? I did what all great scientists do. I took your invention and improved it. Now their polyurethane coating can assimilate other organic materials into itself. You gave it a way to process food? 
Very good. You are so smart. I always did like you. You are not going to get away with this. <laughs> Just watch me. That is if you survive. Derek, make a hole. You got it, Mikey. Yeah, D, you did good. And it was me thinking that the Great Valley was a land of fiction. What are they doing here? Cleaning up their mess. I thought it was Justin's mess. Hey, I'm sanitary. What are you doing here? Saving your hind by the looks of things. We don't need saving, uh, do we? What makes you think we need your help? Right. He was supposed to do that. Are, are you alright? That's a scratch! I think you better start explaining. They are for all intent and purposes large dinosaur toys. They have a highly evolved central processing unit stored in a ruby quartz chip. We can store an infinite amount of data on the chips, including histories, memories, habits, and we made them act. Including what they eat? No. That was an unfortunate side effect. It's okay. We're here to help. We'll end these dinos once and for all. Plus, I feel I have a certain responsibility I need to square out. Yeah, we've got your back. Oh, I can't bear to see them die so young. So young? Did the oldest thing in the books? So, what's your plan? Between what we've got in the van and the superstore, we're gonna feed them to death. Oh, uh, about that. What? Remind me later, I got a really funny story to tell you. Why won't you tell us now? Because you wouldn't find it funny right now. Well, there goes our plan out the window. What do we do now? We've got a truckload of meat and dinos without a gullet. Hand to hand combat? Reevaluate, hand to claw combat? It doesn't sound fair at all. Well, have you got any better ideas? This is so messed up. What about the sun? I think we've got a bigger problem on our hands than worrying about refreshments. Besides, no one goes to the concession stand to the climax. No, heat! They may have a new digestive system, but they're still just circuitry and plastic. We can fry them. The woman's right. And how do you suppose we get that cloud to move? Ask politely. You're the boss, man. Oh, big gray cloud. Please won't you move. So me and my friends here can... This is ridiculous! Well, what do you suggest? We're outside a superstore. Maybe they'll have lighters. Oh, so we could sway at them like there's some kind of Elton John concert? Get real, Justin. We're more likely to burn them by making a fire of our own. That's it! Come on! Quick! Get as much to burn as possible! This needs to be one beast of a fire! This can't be good for the environment. Sadly, it's true. Anyone want a soda? I think that's class as stealing. Huh? Bingo! You gotta have variety, you see. One dino might like black currant, while the other's a cooler kind of guy. No go give them them water and we all know damn right that when given the choice. No one opts for water. I opt for water. Well, you're just a bad egg. Cold. Damn. <laughs> Guys! I could use a little help here. Hey. Where's Justin? Stocking up on cookies, I bet. Good girl. <laughs> Easy there. I, uh, uh, I doubt I'm very tasty at all. Yeah, uh, yeah, practically skin and bones. <laughs> really chewy, I'd imagine. Um, Justin?
I do believe that you just saved my life. You would have thought of something. You always do. Looks like you don't need our help after all. Let's burn these suckers. Damn right! Matches? Check. Kindling? Check. This is such a sad sight. Let's do this. Something cooking. Something tells me that the big guy's not on our side. They've made it through the entire store. We're next. I never thought I'd be a dino's dinner. Wait, look! Well, it's about time. It's blowing over. It's not enough. There's not enough time. Think, Justin. Think! That's it! Zola, Will, do you think they sell mirrors? Justin, your hair looks fine! Zola! Remember when we were in the taxi and I held the ceramic tooth to the light? It magnified and reflected the sun's rays! You're a genius! Come on! What about us? Wait here! I don't like this plan, Justin! Sorry, just a spot of routine recovery. Won't be a moment. Glasses? No way, man. Yes way. Perfect. Will these do? They'll do just fine. EM. And fire! EM. And fire! Maybe the big guy likes us after all. Will, what can I say? You blew up my life's work. But you also saved the city, and that makes you heroes in my book. Sorry about your dinos. Well, there will be others. Maybe not in my generation. I guess the world just wasn't ready for another prehistoric age. Give it a couple of millennia. Today's the day, mark my words, I've said I must say, I'm pretty stoked. You should be. This is my finest work yet. It looks so real. It's okay. Remote control. Well, Doc, I mean, it really does look like your finest work yet. No, I don't mean that. I mean this. What's this? Why don't you open it and find out? This one you can catch all the time. <laughs> my heavy heart what? Lies on my you can't just end the film like that. Major plot holes are so uncool. What was that with the blonde gun or evil? Where was her motivation? I want my 30 minutes back. I've been feeling like the lights are going dim The sky is falling down and the walls are caving in My mind is misaligned, there's nothing left to lose I'm on a steady diet of crazy pills and booze Slipping through the channels of mental episodes I'm running with my scissors in the middle of the road My dilated eyes can read through the code But the lights are all on when there's nobody at home Diabolic ways are catching up to me But it looks good on paper as a perfect pedigree I represent the freaks and the impatient crew Who can't stop eating paint or stop sniffing glue This is who I am, or what have I become? Insanity's a job and the work is never done Multi Personalities and each gets a turn My brain is on vacation, it's never to return Crazy pills, it's just these crazy pills I'm on a one-way track and I'm never coming back It's these crazy pills, they gave me crazy pills Forever's just a day and I'll always be this way
Dad. Th- there's a dinosaur in our backyard. Dennis, when I say take your medication, I mean it. But, Dad... There is absolutely no way I'm having you run riot all night again. Mr. Wilson does not deserve such a menace. 